What's up everyone? Welcome back to Battle Cruiser with my two Grandmaster, or should I say in Grandmaster? Because I just checked. We have 5.3k MMR, and that's the equivalent of rank 45 Grandmaster on NA. Now, before I begin, I just want to let you guys know that the 1vx challenges are coming back. I'm very excited to play against you guys. Maybe 1v4 against gold, 1v3 against platinum, stuff like that. So for that, I'll need you guys to join my Discord. It used to be a disaster. I made it look a lot better. Probably still a disaster, but less so. But now you can go to the channel and roll section, choose your league, and then I'll very easily be able to arrange those challenges. You can choose your race as well. And perhaps not i was gonna say most importantly definitely not the most important but you can choose if you want to get pinged for my streams if you keep missing these streams and you're like oh my goodness does this guy even stream join the discord turn on the notifications for now let's play some games all right here we go first game of the day against a terror now I was thinking, uh, every every time I start the episode, I always think about what build am I going to do? I like to do something different than the last time. Oh, this is uh, very unfortunate. Okay, there we go. For a second, I thought we were really going to fix it. I think my uh, uh, my keys were stuck there for a second. Let's uh, put my health bars back on. Hey, buddy. Uh, I guess I guess we're known. Uh, I did, oh, what was, what was I going to say at the start? Right, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell him what challenge. I'm going to lie about it. Definitely not. <laughs> oh no, I gave it away. My bad. Very chaotic start to the episode so far. What I was going to say, before the episode begins, I always think about what builds I want to do. And I think we've been having the most fun with the builds against Protoss, right? Uh, <laughs> like the proxy one and then the double gas into the battle cruiser. With the proxy, I obviously mean the factory flying into the main base. But I also had another idea. Do you guys know how Protoss players... There we go. He got it. Do you know how Protoss players tend to wall off the natural with like a couple gateways and put like a unit in between? I was thinking we could make a million mines, not go for the 5cc setup for once, but make a million mines and then try to bulldozer through the front and just use the mines to cover my battle cruiser when I teleport it in. That sounds like an absolutely uh, fantastic idea. Or well, it's a fantastic idea. I don't know if it's, a, if it's like good as a strategy, but it's definitely a great idea. Now, I should have scouted here. Uh, so instead, what I'm going to do, because I'm a little late, is I'm going to scout around my base. Let me check for the proxies. Um, oh, by the way, if you're wondering what the bug was at the start with the, with the hotkeys and whatnot, that's usually what happens, I think, if you alt-tab right at the start of the game and maybe, like, your alt key gets stuck or your control key gets stuck or something. So I just I just pressed all of them and I hope it fixed itself and it did. So that's great. I haven't had that happen to me in a long time, actually. So that's a little bit unfortunate. He sees my SCV. The funny part here is that he knows I'm doing a challenge, so even stuff like this SCV moving out a little bit weird is suspicious, you know? Maybe now he thinks I'm just uh, straight up proxying him or something. Well, I was really just checking for a proxy myself because I forget the scout and that's it. Now, what do I don't want to do with this Reaper? Um, I could maybe start killing these. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this before. Have I, have I even used this? mechanic yet in like the, on, on the youtube i'm not even sure to be honest but you can kill these towers and they collapse making this unpassable and i want to play uh, a pretty nice macro game here against terran not sure how i'm gonna win this one without going to the macro game uh against terran i usually just end up hiding my battle cruiser until it's go time so killing those rocks already pretty decent idea now do i want to wall this off i definitely want to wall it off at some point i just don't know if the time is already here like i can just put my barracks there I did see someone copying by me. I, I, I saw a freaking fake Demon Lord XXX on the ladder uh, doing my builds. And the best part was that that person wasn't even doing Battlecruiser Mine. I think he was playing Mass Ghost or something like that. Which, I mean, it, it's also a Demon Lord build, but it's also not a Demon Lord build. You know what I mean? So that was uh, quite funny to see. I'm going to saturate this gas as soon as possible. Um, I need to keep in mind to not confuse myself with the strategy I mentioned before. Because Mass Widowmine at the front against Terran, pr probably not quite going to be that great of a strategy. So I need to be careful. That's a really fast tank. Wait, maybe he actually thought I was cheesing him. I mean, that's really good for me because that means he didn't go for a Cyclo first. Uh, but still, I mean, he's onto something. I don't know what he's onto, but... Hey, let me just put the barracks here now. His Reaper was still at home, so we're going to feel quite safe. These Widowmines, I'm going to burrow them... Uh, yeah, I can't kill the watchtower yet. That's the problem, right? Or I can't kill the... What is it called, actually? The cooling tower. I can't kill the cooling tower yet. I would love to. Uh, this mine is going to kill the reaper because he's going to try to jump into my main, but he's not going to be able to. Then it's going to go here and die. 
That's my prediction. So he's trying to attack me very fast with tanks. Okay, so he's definitely on to the fact that this is battle cruiser with a mine, I want to say. Oh, that mine wasn't burrow. That's that's quite unfortunate. I mean, oh, the Reaper died, uh, just like I predicted. So I'm not sure I'm surprised. But we are going to be in a little bit of trouble because we don't have anything to do with that tank for another minute or so. 54 seconds on that battle cruiser left. I did get a nice flank. He's not attacking me yet, which is really good for me. Okay, there he is, finally. He's going for Vikings as well. Yeah, I mean, he has a very good counter to us. Um, I, I see some opportunities here, though. This mine is going to buy us... Uh, well, not buy us a lot of time. Maybe just unburrow that. There we go. Got that marine for free. That's very nice. Now he's going to have to sacrifice another one. Going to put all of these on the minerals. And I think I'm going to get Yamato. I killed another marine with that if I had to guess. And yeah, this is a very harsh blind counter. So I need to be... Um, yeah, I mean, I think I can do it. But I'll need perfect micro for sure. See, I, can, I managed to save that one, which is very nice. I'm going to have a little Widow Mines. Um, what is my strategy going to be here, guys? I have a few ideas. One idea is that I fly my Battle Cruiser across. Not teleport it, but fly. And then teleport it back. I'm going to try to take this one in the meantime. Yamato is going to have to be cancelled so I can make another Battle Cruiser. It makes the most sense. Probably going to try to scan again to kill these. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm um, not sure. It doesn't seem very efficient to try and do that, though. Like, my opponent's definitely not rich. I never saw an expansion, by the way. So this... I mean, I I don't think it is, but it could be a one base solid, technically. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, actually. It totally could be. Um, that would be kind of crazy. One base solid is not known to be the best strategies in, in StarCraft. I say being me is kind of funny. Pretty sure I made 6k MMR with planetary rushes, so maybe that's not uh, completely accurate. Yeah, let's try to heal that one up. Okay, so it was indeed a one base, so I did a really good job by being passive. He hasn't sent any more Vikings across, which is quite suspicious, right? Like, maybe... I mean, it seems like he's coming back with the Vikings now. He's gonna lose another tank. So the Starport is somewhere out on the map. I don't know where, but it's definitely somewhere. I can tell you guys that much. Now, I think I'm just gonna kill his attack. He's gonna have to bring the Vikings back. I really thought there would be more Vikings here, but there, there's just nothing to be seen. Once the Vikings show up, I can just teleport back and kill everything, I think, at the front line. I have another battle cruiser here, too. I mean, without the little Vikings, you just can't kill this. Marines really suck there we go marines really sucking his battle cruiser. he's gonna lose everything and that is most likely gonna be the game here that is fantastic i thought we were in trouble but in the end uh we got it with some good outplays here those those tanks can't escape of course and i have enough widow mines to cover uh me forever i'm gonna try to spread these widow mines so he flies into them with the vikings i can definitely see that happen uh, let's see I, i'm curious now i really wanted to i think we have won the game anyway unless he finds these battle cruisers then um we would be in trouble Oh, so there's the starport. Let's see. I'm just going to scan here. Just make sure to kill the reactor. I'm going to move some of these widow mines over. Uh, I need to not be too greedy here because these can totally... Uh, or the Vikings that are going to come from his base can totally kill these battle cruisers. Now, at this point, I can get Yamato. I have a lot of widow mines burrow, which is very, very nice. I am surprised he hasn't sent his Vikings yet. I mean, it, it seems like a logical choice. I did teleport this battle cruiser back home after all. Oh, let me make another reactor. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's barely gonna dodge that. That is so unfortunate. Holy cow. That is actually crazy. Wait, he, he killed the one that didn't have the teleport too. Oh my goodness. He, he was lucky here. All right, guys. Let's be honest. He was omega lucky here. Um, now, I'm gonna send these with him. I, I, wait, maybe I can do the strategy that I talked about. I can go for the freaking mass with him by bulldozer at the front because he should only have Vikings, which are not that great against with mines, you, you might have guessed. Do need to make sure I get a third base at some point too, though. Let's see. Is there a tank? There's a cyclone here. That's also interesting. Let's try to start attacking. Okay, so we're here with the Widow Mines. He's staying too close. That's so many freaking Widow Mines, guys. He is insane. I got another couple here as well. And Vikings do outrange Widow Mines, but the Battle Cruiser has arrived. Let's see. He's not going to go up in the air yet. Oh my god, he's going to lose three Vikings instantly. There you go. He's going to try to go up in the air now, but by that time, he will already have lost four Vikings, I think. And this is an absolutely beautiful play. Wait, I can kill another Viking. He's not moving. And then he's not going to pay attention to the Cyclone. He's doing a scan, but I mean, there was mission. Anyway, the Cyclone dies? How did that even die there? But Battle Cruisers are crazy good, aren't they? That was insane. Now I have a couple of Widow Mines that I don't think he realized I have the other base. But there you go. GG well played is called. And this game, it was chaos from start to finish. It started chaotic with me forgetting what I was talking about because I had the hotkey bug. And then uh, he started talking to me at the same time. And I was just so lost that he blind counter me. This was crazy. I do really like his attempt to blind counter me, by the way.
It's a smart strategy. I think it would have been even better if it happened on two base, because then you can make a second starport, make ravens, only make tank vikings so you can just kill the guy. But here he did it on one base. I was a little bit too clutch, and that's fantastic. Really cool warm-up game. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two against Jump King, a Zerg player on the grass, man. Now, I feel like the system is detecting my ideas here, guys, because typically we get a lot of Protoss players, I believe, but today... Now, I'm very excited to try my new idea against Protoss. We haven't gotten one yet, but that's all right. I like my TVCs. I'm not going to complain about it at all. Now, typically I like my CC first against Zerg right here. I should probably go with another build, because first of all, uh, I don't know this guy. I don't know if this guy is literally the biggest cheeser on the planet or not. Uh, and he's also a little bit lower MMR than me, and... I'm really trying to get as high up on the ladder as we possibly can. If we could get anywhere near top 20, for example, that would be freaking amazing. Now, I think we're we're quite far off. I think we need like 400 MMR for that or so. Uh, so that's definitely a big journey, but I uh, can't let it begin by losing 50 MMR to the Zerg player 12 fooling me. Uh, when I'm going for a combat setter first, I think that sounds fair enough. Now, Battlecruiser with a mine. I mean, this map, I, I always feel like this map is a little strange somehow. It's like a... If you look at the features of this map, it feels quite open. This map gives me the vibes as if it was a short map. And this has mind gave me multiple times. If you guys watch more of my series, you would know that I've tried to do all ins on this map just to figure out it was not actually a short map at all. It's a big map. But then if you get to the late game, all of a sudden, this is a pretty good map. Because if you get a planetary here, it doesn't just hold this middle area, but also this entire right side. And all your opponents can do is kind of try to sneak around the edges to attack you. You have these rocks. So it's a map where it's very open, looks sketchy for early game, but it's bigger than you think. And then when you get to the late game, it's suddenly fantastic. It's it's hard to all take in for a build order. Most of the time, maps are just like, oh, this map is nice for macro games, I guess. And then you play a macro game on it. This map is a little, uh, little deeper than that, I want to say, which is cool. I'm going to go for the Reaper Expand. Uh, what was his name? I definitely know what Jump King is going to do here. Uh, like I said, I maybe this is the first time my memory is failing me. I, I, I don't think it is, but uh, I don't think we played against it before. If I'm wrong, correct me, please, because then I will be uh, officially humbled. I mean, we might have seen him before, but I just I don't remember. Let's see if we're getting... Uh, the first thing I want to see is just if it's a hash first or not. Uh, pretty sure that is a hash first. Um, sometimes I get confused with the scout timing on different maps, but that looks like a hash first to me. So we should be good. I'm still not entirely sure what the new build looks like. The 50-15 build that was recently invented by the Brazilian Zurich Eric. I'm, I'm still not even sure what that looks like. So I don't know if, you know if I would recognize it or not if we ran up against it. Now, I feel like for the first time in a while, instead of going for mass BCs right away, I would like to go for a Widow Mind Drop. Definitely playing on a laggy server. Yeah, Singaporean server, 202 ping. It's going to be rough for the micro. Luckily, battle cruisers are not that difficult to micro. Well, I mean, I say that, but if you... If fail a teleport by a couple seconds, you would probably cry because then you lose 400, 300, right? So maybe, I mean, the micro is not difficult, but that one little moment where you have to teleport your Batacruz to safety, that could be crucial. Now, my opponent should have a third base by now. If he doesn't, then that's a scary fact. Let's see. I'm going to go for a starport. There's a third base. Okay. I, I keep forgetting which one they usually take. I feel like every time they took this one, I was surprised. And I'm still surprised, even though I'm, at this point, I'm sure I've seen it more often than a triangle third base, which is uh, not the smartest by me, I suppose. But it is what it is. Well, let's see. I don't want to scout anything yet. At this point, I'm, I'm quite just being annoying. That's a lot of gas mine, though. Almost 200 gas. Hasn't cut gas. That is something we need to keep in mind. This could be one of those weird roach islands where they don't really make extra gases. They just never stop mining from the first one. I'm going to go for a sneaky jump in um, in about 15 seconds, I would say. I'm going to make a medevac instead of a battle cruiser because I'm going to go for a fat widow mine drop right away. And then normally I would save up for a third command center here, but I really need those marines in case he's going for one of those crazy roach islands. I mean, it's not like it's the biggest investment for me ever anyway. See, so there is a three eggs producing. Um Jump into the natural, see what we can find. There's no gases. Yeah, I definitely... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, it definitely feels like we're being cheesed here because there was just uh, nothing. All those eggs were producing at the same time. And I read it correctly uh, that we are going to go up against one of those really weird one gas Rocha lins. And wait, I might have the perfect counter for this, actually. Check this out. I'm going to put four widow mines here. Uh, hopefully they blow up a million roaches and then I can just fly them away with the medevac. Or actually, the armory might finish in time. 
Dude, I really hope he flies here. That'd be so beautiful. Especially if it's multiple units combined. There we go. He's going to lose a bunch of these right away. One more shot, please. Come on. Here we go. Oh, it could have killed an extra one, but it didn't. Now he's going to try to push forward, but I should have enough here to defend, I think. And just repair the bunker. He can't get too close or the Widow Mines will shoot. Uh, and I'm quite happy with how this is going so far. We need to make sure I don't actually get broken here. Let's see. There's so many Widow Mines. He's probably like, what the hell are you doing? Why is there five million Widow Mines? Oh, yeah, he's just going to back off. And that is the moment for me to go across. And this was, uh, yeah, a very comfortable hold. Now, Ravagers are not a comfortable hold. But that is the big weakness of this style that he's playing. He... He has one gas. Ravager just goes 75 gas to Morph, I believe. So he's just not going to have enough. Simple as that. And I'm going to make my third command set. Here. My opponent should be droning behind this. I, I don't want to rely on a should, but he should be droning behind this. So I think I can go aggressive. Um, and even if he doesn't, maybe I can survive just in time with the battle cruiser. There we go. Making a ton of drones. Making an extra gas too. That could be to make Ravagers. Let's see. Uh, he does have a Spore and that is a Spire on the way. Oh, he's not paying attention because he's attacking me at the same time. This is going to be brutal, guys. There we go. Oh my god. Absolutely fat Widowmine hits there. Let me just try to repair this one. I'm even going to move out my last... Uh, oh, I didn't move... Wait, he stopped shooting my Medivac. Okay, he probably could have killed that, but he decided not to, I suppose. That's quite nice. Uh, but the Spire is very scary. Like, I'm not going to lie. And I know it's looking decent. Uh, we held the attack pretty comfortably. But he is going for a Spire. And that is pretty much the ultimate counter to the Battlecruiser early on. If he has Corruptors, there's not much I can do. Wait, I'm just going to... see. Does he see this? That will be so funny. Please don't see this. That would be beautiful. I'm going to target the other one. Oh my god, that's so many drone skill too. And I'm going to save the Widowmites. I mean, that matter of fact is 1 HP. That can never move again, pretty much. But... Uh, is, yeah, damage is damage, guys. Very happy with how it's going. I'm gonna get a couple turrets up here because I don't have that many widow mines at home, and then I'll drop my mines on, uh, mines on top of these drones. He's still trying to buy on me. I feel like he's distracting himself more than anything else. He hasn't seen any of these widow mine drops because he keeps attacking me at the same time. The bunker's doing a good job. I, oh, I tried to save that last widow mine, but there was a little bit too much lag. I would have lost it, uh, uh, most of it anyway, to be fair, but uh, maybe I could have saved that last one. I, I'm not sure if I can micro on this ping against Ravager Biles. I think the ping is a little bit too much to do, uh, you know, unburrowing again. So that is slightly annoying. Let me make sure I get, keep getting more depots on the way. Uh, the reason why I'm rushing so hard into this base uh, is very simply because I need turrets in this location against Mutas, right? So I'm, I'm really forcing the issue here. I mean, these sprays are doing pretty good against the Ravagers, to be honest. Let's see if the Battlecruiser can catch up. Probably not going to kill one, but scared them away. I got my third up, and I'm going to get turrets, meaning that his uh, Mutas or Corruptors, he could build those two, are not going to be as useful. Now, I'm mostly relying on my economy here. I have a slightly better economy than him. Worst case scenario, our economy is even. And normally, you should be pretty far behind in economy against a Zerg, so that's nice. Uh, and I'm going to make use of that opportunity to get my five command center set up going, I think. Get a couple extra depots over there. SV saturation is looking very good. I think those depot yeah those depots got cancelled glad that i heard that alert else it would have been uh, unfortunate now what exactly do i do with my units let's see so he redrone that's a lot of gas he doesn't have a lot of units and he has a lot of gas so is he maybe saving up to just actually make a gajillion mutas at once i mean it's possible and i'm just gonna play my macro game from here like i don't even have to move out i'm just gonna go for my double armory i'm even gonna go really fast on the planetary upgrades so those don't die and I'm going to add a couple extra turrets. I don't even know if there's anything here yet. But here I feel like it's a situation where uh, we should be extra safe. Like I think we did a good amount of damage. Now it's time to let our battle cruiser with my composition do the work. Now I do have two BCs. Uh, maybe I could move out with these with to the top. Burrow them in a sneaky location and try to bait the probably corruptors into the with That would be a nice move. I could also consider going for extra with mines already. But that really depends on what he's doing. I mean, if he's just making Link Bane, I don't really want that many Widow Mines. So there is a baiting nest. I'm pretty sure we just saw that finish, right? So we don't have to be scared about that. Some extra stuff up here. And we have a couple of battle cruisers. Um, just coasting along the top line. Here. Well, let's see. Where do I burrow these Widow Mines exactly? He could have that base. I think it would be smart to burrow them here. It's like in a corner. It's a little harder to see. Maybe I can move them a little bit closer, considering he's not uh, here yet move them in this corner instead i'm gonna scan just to make sure there's no infestors uh infestors are the hard counter here to the battle cruiser i imagine the corruptors are gonna come from somewhere i haven't seen them yet which is very surprising here like does he not did he just not make them at all is, is he going full greed on this guys where's the okay there's one corruptor 
I'm gonna Yamato the Queens. He's gonna sacrifice them uh, into the Widow Mines. And he's not gonna know that I have a couple more Widow Mines here. I guess I teleport this one back. Here we go. It's time. Oh, almost. That was so close. But he did see that. That's unfortunate. Now, I am gonna retreat with those before I lose them. I don't wanna lose them. One of my battle crews is quite hurt. Let's make sure I repair that bad boy. And now I have my five command center set up going already, which is fantastic. What is my SCV count like? 90. Obviously very healthy. You guys know me. I like to make even more than that. Wait. Maybe I can just keep those widow mines there. Like, he did have an overseer to clear them up. Maybe he's just going to get Omega Baited to try a Ling run by the top and then just die to five widow mines just staying there from the beginning of the game. Or should I? I'm tempted to expand maybe like a little bit too aggressively. So what I'm thinking about doing is just making a planetary here in the middle of the map already. Because if I get that up, we are going to be completely golden for the map control for a long time. Yeah, I'm just going to do it, you know. Here we go. So I'm going to make two turrets, a sensor tower and a planetary here. And then I'll always have this little, little, yeah, base camp to fall back to. Which is going to be very, very comfortable. He doesn't have a lot of creep, uh, mostly because he did a cheese. That's one of the downsides of cheesing. You... Don't have a lot of queens early on, as many as you normally do. He probably skipped every single queen besides the ones that he 100% needed there. So, um, yeah. And I'm not going to lie, guys. My opponent here seems a little lost. I, I'm getting the vibe that he is one of those pure cheesers that doesn't really uh, play the macro game at all. Let me unburrow those so I can retarget those on the corruptors if they come. Corruptors, please. Not quite. Oh, I am going to get the shots. Nice. Okay, that's a lot of freaking damage to those Corruptors. I did lose a battle cruiser for it, but that's okay. I just need to make sure I never lose the camp in the middle. I have a couple turrets. Okay, he is going to find it. That does suck for me. I don't have my battle cruiser here yet. I'm going to teleport my one battle cruiser on top. This is a crazy move what I'm doing, but I really want to keep this camp alive over here. I think it's a big part of my strategy. Uh, I do have the upgrades already, right? Yeah, I do have the upgrades already. Let's start getting plus two. Five star personnel up as well. Here we go. He's going to go for it. The Widow Mines are going to pop off, though. The turrets are doing a fantastic job. But yeah, he had a few too many Corruptors. And I knew it was a crazy idea. I really wanted to save my base camp. And I didn't manage to do it. And now we are suddenly not in that good of a position anymore. Like, I, I know that was crazy. I, you don't have to tell me, okay? I know I know it wasn't the smartest that I teleported uh, one battle cruiser there. Or maybe two. Not even sure. But still, I think we're okay because we do have all these command centers. He was able to focus on that and kill it, but that means he didn't kill my other stuff, so that's nice. I think it might be a good time for me to just click some Widow Mines in his bases, like really be as annoying as possible. Let's make a layer of turrets over here, so I'm going to be safe for later. It's funny, I feel like every matchup has kind of their cliche at this point. Like the TVZs always become late game. TVT is... Yeah, I don't even know. I feel like most of the time... It's, it, it, TVT is the one that's the most... Uh, has the most variety, I want to say, right? Like sometimes it's really crazy cheese games. Sometimes it's those epic late games. TVP... It's just always chaos. Like, I don't think we've really pl played a stable TVP at all against Protoss. Like, it's just been uh, complete chaos all the time. Now, that might be a nice idea. So, I'm going to prepare for that by making a couple of extra turrets. Let's get the drilling claws at this point as well. Those are killing my Widow Mines, which is annoying. But I'm kind of surprised he's not just sending links there, by the way. Like, I mean, you might as well send 10 links at an Overseer. It's going to be completely fine, right? So, let's get my drilling claws. Um, what I think my opponent is doing here is he is playing basically in a very all-in fashion. So he is only making lair tech units, banelings, ravagers, corruptors, and it's not going to be good for the late game. So what I need to do here is just make sure I don't die. I know it, that's usually what you try to do in StarCraft, but here, I don't think I need to try and go out to win the game, if that makes sense. Like, I think I literally just can sit back here. Oh, he's flying into so many turrets. He's insane. Like, I know corruptors are tanky, but oh my goodness. The micro, those are both going to be saved on red HP. And he's losing every single corruptor for it. This fight was insane for me. And I, I don't know, how many corruptors did we just kill? 20? That was freaking insane. I mean, I have enough bases, guys. I... I know I'm not super rich, but I, I don't really care. I could just replace that. He just traded everything for that. He, he has, what is that, four? He has three roaches left. Almost two. Okay, 2.1. 2.1 roaches is what he has left, guys. Now, I did lose a few SCVs, so I'm going to have to rebuild those. Let me make sure I repair. Oh, I was already doing it. Better than I thought. Very nice. I'm going to cancel one battle cruiser to get 3-3, three, three, because keep in mind, we are playing the macro game here, and I don't necessarily uh, have to make a game-winning move anytime soon. Now let's actually start hotkeying these command centers because I had a lot that were just uh, hardcore chilling. Now let's see. I imagine... Yeah, exactly. He's, he's playing a style with which 
you shouldn't be able to win in the late game. So I think I really just need to keep it easy. Once the investors show up, it's going to be scarier for now. Yeah, I, I, I think we're completely golden. There's no rush at all. I know we just lost the base. We lost position sensor towers, but I really think we're in a completely fine spot there. Get some turrets up there and then... Uh, do the, yeah, they have teleport. It's actually good to check that they have teleports because I don't want to accidentally be caught uh, by corruptors without having teleport. Yeah, he's still just making the same lair tech army. He is never going to be able to be efficient with that. So I'm just going to make sure to keep sharking around a little bit. With him, that, that's a good trade. Six bailings for a widow. That, that's that's not great, you know. I mean, he, he kind of made that seem as if it was going to be a good trade for him, but th that's that's not in his favor. That's a fantastic trade for us, in fact. Let's get another sensor tower. We're going to make a couple turrets here as well. I, I wasn't really in the rush to max out, so I never maxed out until now, pretty much. Um, and I think it's paid dividends because we have a lot of freaking base. I'm going to try to take this one as well. It would be good for me to try to take the base in the top, actually. Like, taking this one would be awesome. Those with the mines, oh, they were almost off cooldown. What are upgrades on the Corruptors? I, oh, I barely couldn't see. I'm going to scan for it. 2-0. All right. No no armor against BCs. That's very questionable. Like, it actually is. Like, BCs, they shoot so many freaking bullets. Armor upgrades are an absolute necessity. So he might be attacking on the top here. Um, should I? I could counterattack or I could try to defend. It's just at this point, I have so many battlecruisers with good upgrades that I don't think I necessarily have to... Wait, I can fight this, no? He doesn't have armor upgrades, remember, guys. He's going to try to kill this, but he doesn't have bailings left. He's trying to bile the planetary... Oh, no, it was the... I, I couldn't see the biles. It was on the BCs. Look, without armor, they die so fast. This planetary is not going to be broken. He's going to lose every single unit here while I'm still buzzing at 180 supply, and I think that has to be it. And this is the kind of Zerg that I'm always talking about when I talk about cheesy players that don't transition. Against them, once you pick up on the fact that they're playing that style, you can really just uh, take it easy. Like, there's no rush whatsoever to do anything because you can just make late game units, make a ton of planetaries, and at some point, even if they have 10 base against 5, you can just take base one by one. Uh, and now all I have to do is scan to make sure he doesn't still go for the investors with neurals right but i'm already making this at the bottom this is so many bcs i'm killing another base which is fantastic i think my 3-3 my 3-3 just finished which is even better let's get a couple of widow mines up here so he's uh, not tempted to go for it like i don't know how many corruptors he has he, he could literally have made 30 corruptors with his last bank and that is not something i want to deal with this shows me he wants to fly in with the corruptors else he wouldn't try to bait those widow mines with the queens right so need to be a little careful here Gonna start some more turret camps in the middle of the map, I think. Because now I have so many battlecruisers, I can keep them around to kill the Ling Bane and stuff. So I don't have to worry about ground that much. I have a couple command centers here that I can use to take these bases. I do want to want to put one in the middle there as well. Start getting a ton of turrets. He does see that with the creep, which is quite annoying. Creep always uh, my biggest enemy, of course. And I'm trying to repair these up. How many command centers am I on right now? Probably approaching 20, I want to say. It's time for some meals. Here we go, guys. I want money, okay? It's time to create some money. This is why you make the mass command centers. Gonna give me money forever. We are at a point where I could start considering sacrificing some SEVs. But it's, yeah, it's also in line with what I said earlier. This guy's trading so inefficiently that I should probably just be, you know, keep trading and not worry about trading my SEVs. I have 106 uh, army supply, which is not amazing. But it's enough, uh, and I'm just taking the entire map. I think this is a very, very frustrating game for my opponent here because he's just begging for me to attack into his, like, semi lid I could call it. But I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm having a fantastic time. He doesn't have this base. I imagine he's expanding in the bottom, uh, which means we are going to get this base. He's just going to make a bunch of turrets. Turrets are always going to be useful even later on, so you don't necessarily have to worry about being inefficient or something like that. I'm going to get a couple turrets here. I also want a planetary here. And I think this is probably the final touch. If I get a planetary down here, we have quite literally the entire map covered. Okay, so there are investors. So that's why I'm going to dip here. Um, oh, he, he didn't actually use... Let me just see how much the investor. He didn't use neurals. So then I can just stay and fight. There we go. Like, he still doesn't have the armor upgrade. So he's taking so much damage. I'm not teleporting out uh, because the... It's not that big of a deal to pair. Well, actually, right now I can because there's not that many turrets there. I thought it was going to be a few more. That trade was already a lot rougher. You can see the difference it makes if they have spellcasters. Um, you can't really get out there against the fungals. I didn't see the... That was a really good move by him, by the way. I didn't see the investors on the top. So they managed 
Uh, wait, did I just kill his last Ravager with those stationary mines? That's kind of funny. Yeah, he could try to go for that, but the Wither Mines changed his mind. But I didn't see the investors at the top. They got a Fungal off, which means I lost the ability of uh, teleporting my Battlecruisers away. That was why the fight went a little bit south. But even then, um, he didn't manage to kill the bases. Uh, so I think that's fantastic. We got this base up now as well. Need to start dropping some more mules. There we go. Give me some money. Uh, and maybe now he is making investors. It could be time for me to sacrifice some SCVs and get a bigger army. Like there. Let's say I have 10 more battlecruisers, which which normally sounds crazy. I just spawned 10 battlecruisers. It's fine. But here, we are in a situation where I can get 10 more battlecruisers. I'm freaking rich, right? So uh, if I have 10 more battlecruisers, then the investors die instantly, even if there's Neuro, and then it's all pretty good for us. Now, yeah, he's going to kill that base. That's going to be a little annoying. Um, did I make did I make starports yet? Yeah, I did. Okay, I, I had a feeling I did. Try to move away with these. Now I have to be careful because now my Battlecruiser fleet is not as impressive as it once was. Uh, let's see. I imagine he has a lot of Corruptors around. Uh, and maybe... I'm not sure if I killed the Vipers and stuff. He might actually have the Vipers still, which would be very, very annoying. I saw one Viper there. That's already, uh, you know, enough information for me. Now let's see. 93 SCVs. Yeah, I, I think we're at the time when we can sacrifice a few of these bad boys. I'm up to 8 starports, which is going to give me really good reinforcement capabilities. I'm going to repair this one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so he has that base I do want to deny because that's on my half of the map. You never want to have a Zerg take your half of the map, right? Um, keep in mind what I always say about Zerg. If you're even on bases, you're fine. If you're one base behind, then it's, it's even. But if you're more than two bases behind, then you get in trouble. So you never want to have a Zerg mine a base on your side of the map. That's always scary. I'm doing mass scans just so there's no burrow infestors that are ready to neural me, basically. And now I'm going to get so much static defense that it's actually getting fantastic here. Uh, he's not going to want to fight in this, but he could abduct a couple of my BCs. That's what I have to be careful for. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice a few more boys. Okay, there's the infestor. I didn't see the infestor at first. Let me see if I can just kill the gas. Anything I can get is annoying enough. Does he have this? He does have this by now. And the map is effectively split, which is normally good enough. But I'm not allowed to make ghosts, right? That's where it gets a little bit tough. I do think we have a, a decent trade advantage already, though. Yo, those are actually doing great, those Widow Mines. Let's see. The investors, yeah, the investors were waiting for me. Let's try and repair that. Yeah, I think I'll barely be able to save it. Okay, there we go. It is saved. You need to be very freaking careful for the investors. I'm so glad it's actually still alive. Yo, this planet there is going to kill the investors for me, I think. There we go. I'm going to Yamato everything. And then after the thing runs out, I'll be able to teleport out. And I pretty much got all the investors there, which is nice. And the Vipers. I saved a couple PCs, but not that many. I mean, the game is definitely getting scary here, guys. Don't get me wrong. It was going fantastic for us for a long time. But then he changed to the late game. And he has been doing a pretty good job of it so far. In particular... I think if we ever get the situation up in the middle of the map, then we're okay. But he's just managing to break it every single time. Let me drop a million mules just everywhere so I get enough money. How many orbitals do I have? It's, it's not a crazy amount, actually. I think it's 10. I think it's only 10 orbitals. It really could be better than that. So I need to be slightly careful. Maybe, let's see, I have 69 SUV still. Maybe I'll want to make uh, some extra orbitals before I sacrifice the remainder of my SUVs. I think... At this point, I could even get up to, like, 15 orbitals, I want to say. Because, uh, yeah, I will be quite rich, right? And, I mean, I have the map already. I have the planetaries. I don't have to worry about anything like that. Okay, let's grab a few of these SCVs and just start making turrets here again. That's what I want to do. And maybe even get a sensor tower up there. Sensor tower in the middle would also be very nice. Man, sensor towers are so frustrating to go up against, right? Like, just knowing you're being seen all the time. Okay, I, I just made sure I got drilling claws. I thought I might have uh, forgotten it all this time. Now, as long as I know where the investors are, I can attack the other side. That's very important. Let's hold key T's. I could make a few more command centers still. Okay, let's see. The investors are not here, but they could be close enough. So I need to be very careful. Okay, the investors are not here at all. Let me just make sure I kill this base. Killing the hatchery is more important than anything else because it stops him from mining. Uh, which means that I can mine from it later. Uh, he's probably going to try to dive. I'm not sure if he can. Like, the Corruptors are quite far ahead of the army, so I could Yamato a bunch of them and then get out. Now, this planetary is finally up. Okay, now I have even more than cut the, the, the map in half, I want to say. 
Oh, the Vipers are gonna die very fast. Yo, that is not a lot of Corruptors anymore, guys. I know he has Investors, but that is simply not that many Corruptors. Not enough Investors to Neural me as well. Is this a winning fight? It's hard to tell. I think with the turrets, we are definitely winning. And there we go. We have defeated Jump King. He still had a lot of money in the bank, but at this point, he knew he was gone. And there it is, guys. The resources lost. I told you guys, we were efficient all the time. 31.8 against 52k. 20k resources lost difference. I do have to say, the late game... I maybe was a little bit too confident. I should have gotten like a few more commands than I saw before going to middle, maybe taking a few less fights. I really didn't think he was going to ever transition to the late game. He did it eventually, but it took him a long time for now a fantastic game. Let's go to game number three. All right, game three is against Jimmy Micro. All right, I, I remember Jimmy Micro uh, mostly for the reason that I told you guys he was a macro player and then he cheesed me twice. I think that was in the... Uh, I think it was the Mech Drops to Grandmaster Grand Finale, actually. So now I'm not going to make the same mistake. Jimmy Micro, guys, is the filthiest cheese on the planet. Just kidding. Uh, but he does know some cheeses, so I need to be very careful. In fact, uh, if you think about the the last game, actually, that game was so long, I thought it was two games ago, but it was the last game. Jimmy Micro is the one who keeps playing Rochalins with low gas counts, so now I'm going to be aware of it. Um, it is very difficult to hold, though. I know that his all-ins do hit pretty hard, so maybe... Um, I should go for like five marines faster instead of necessarily going for a lot of widow mines and then make a couple extra bunkers. I mean, it's always really hard to all in, hold all ins with mines, to be fair. Like in the last game, it looked great because my opponent made eight roaches and that's it. But normally what happens is they'll make eight roaches and 20 links and then 20 links can easily trigger uh, six widow mines and then you have five marines to kill eight roaches. It's not, doesn't sound like a pleasant scenario, right? Especially if the widow mines die too. So that's what I need an armory for. In fact, I went 1-1 one, one against Jimmy Micro in that episode. And the one game I won was because I did a mind drop to counter. And that mind drop killed every single drone he had, basically. So, uh, yeah, I can't really count on that happening. I'm just going to scout in time. And try to react to whatever Jimmy Micro is doing. I'm going to just... Yeah, just a normal SCV scout will be fine. Uh, sometimes I see people scout really early in TVZ, but honestly, you don't have to. I do wonder, actually, with this new 15-15 build that I was mentioning before. Maybe you do have to scout a little bit earlier. I I'm not even sure if it helps. It's just I, I really want to see what the timings look like from playing against it POV, you know? Not necessarily from a replay, uh, but I always learn the most from, the yeah, my own POV, I suppose. So uh, that's what I really would like to see. Maybe I've already played against it and I just didn't recognize it as well. That's also very possible. Let's see. Hatchery is down. Um, this is... Oh, yeah, we're playing on Royal Blood, so the map is a little smaller here, which is all right for us. I'm just going to start a reactor. Uh, I'm definitely going to make a blind bunker, I think, against Jimmy Micro. I could also scout if he's going for a third base. Definitely going to play double gas as well. You know, there was actually a crazy thing uh, in 2015 in the meta back then. Is that it was better, and this sounds really silly, it was better to play triple CC than two CC builds against Roach Cheeses. And the logic was that if you were doing a normal build back then, you would always lose workers anyway. <laughs> so if you did like a double CC build, so not, not a third command center basically, then your economy was just too gutted by losing even a couple of SCVs. But with 3CC, you would have enough to hold it off. So that was back in the day, you would actually rather do that. Now there is a third... Wait, is that misplaced? No, it's not, right? No, it looks normal. I, I, if you, I'm not sure if you guys realize what I just tried to do. I just tried to place an eBay with my Reaper. Because with eBays, you can check if your command center is a pro. If you never knew this, you can check with an eBay. There, exactly one eBay fits in between. So I tried to make an eBay here with my Reaper to see if it was uh, in the correct location. Once again, not my smartest moment. Now, I don't trust this guy. Uh, so I'm going to go into the main and give it an early scout to see if he's never stopped mining that gas, for example. Let's see what I can find. That gas has been stopped. All right, Jimmy Micro, you are a changed man. And, uh, well, he's probably just tricking me, to be fair. But we're not getting cheese right away. Uh, it could be a link flood, I suppose. But maybe... No, I think I should just be smart and not overreact, even though he has a sketchy reputation, to say the least. Uh, at least in the channel. Uh, maybe he's a fantastic guy, I don't know. But I'm just going to wall this off and, and make sure a Link Flood doesn't come in. It shouldn't be possible for this to be a Roach build. Or, well, he could make Roaches later on, of course, but I 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I can trust this guy at all. So what I'm going to do is just... Oh, oh I should have micro a little bit better. Well, I did kill three links. That's more than I should have gotten. Should have only gotten one. So he, he did make a little Zerg links. All right, so it's very good that I have a wall off. I mean, I, I really wouldn't be surprised if he just freaking mines more gas and does a bailing all in still or something, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a really absurd move. This is going to be either a complete waste of money or the smartest move of all time. I'm going to make one bunker in the back so he doesn't see it. So if he uses his bailings on the wall uh, and tries to get in, then I have one bunker in a perfect position against it in the back. Oh my god, that would actually... If that worked, that would be the coolest move ever for sure. Though he lost so many links already, I really doubt that he's doing anything else. He's kind of crazy. Um, it's too late for me to make an armory for cloak, so I don't have to. This one is finished. Well, I, ideally I want that to be... Yeah, I, I do want that to be... Um, a planetary over here. So there we go. Put some mines in his base. See how it goes. There's no drones there. Jimmy Micro. Where are your drones, my friend? Oh my goodness. He's doing it again, isn't he? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. How could you? Wait, now he's making... Huh? Did... Wait, did he... He made more links than I realized, I suppose. That's the only explanation I have here. I I thought it was like 16 or something. But maybe he actually made him... Oh, wait. Oh. But he was going to stay there for a second. Shooting in... That is so unsatisfying why is it even possible for me to actually shoot over those guys come on that was just that was incredibly unsatisfying but yeah he, he made it's the only explanation he made way more zerglings than i realized and now he just does not have an appropriate amount of drones i'm just gonna hide a bunch of those here i still need to get an extra couple command centers up yeah i, I feel like in the macro game we're gonna we're gonna own him so i just i just don't want to die to another one of them jimmy micro builds you guys know I got one battle cruiser underway. There was no lair. Yeah, he, he really made a ton of links. Huh? He doesn't even have a lair. I can teleport this battle cruiser across freely, knowing there's no spire. And the funniest part about it all is, guys, this bunker might even work later on because he could do a link run by in my natural. Well, then I'm going to have a freaking bunker ready in a really good location. So there we go. Making evolution chambers. Yeah, he's just going to go for the macro game here. He's not moving this drone. So even though there's just four, I can just target a billion of them. This is how you micro a cruiser, by the way, guys, if you ever wanted. You teleport, and you just kill as many drones as you can before you have to get out of there. So this sounds about right. You don't want to stay too long. Queens do a lot of damage, so now I got 10 kills. And I'm going to kill an Overlord, too. Maybe a second one. Or waste some transfuses. Also nice. I do need to make sure I don't lose it, though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there we go. Uh, and that's how you micro cruiser. You teleport in, and you kill as many drones as you can through the spores and queens. And then you get out when you have to. Uh, I do still need a uh, fifth. I was going to say a third command center. No, I need a fifth command center up in here as well. Try to get that one. Going to make a command center here. And then maybe, well, I could go for the armor upgrades already on the planetaries. I mean, I feel like he's probably going to try to break. I'll just do it. Why not? Let's get that. I also think I can teleport this battle cruiser across. Normally, you would never teleport a second battle cruiser across. Uh, that is not going to die. Okay, this one is going to die, but the planetary isn't. I mean, he's actually losing a lot of zerglings to that, but this one I can teleport it across because his... Oh, okay, we didn't get all of them. That's unfortunate. Armories, armories, please finish. No, they're not going to finish in time. But maybe he will be distracted enough. Let me Yamato that queen over there. That should be pretty nice. And now we're just going to do the same thing again. We're just going to target all the drones, and we're just going to get economically really far ahead from this. And then he's coming back in there, so maybe he forgot that this battle cruiser existed, and we'll be able to come in with this one. I have a Yamato for a queen as well. So if he has just one queen here, that could be super nice. Can you target the drones? There you go. You see, I was just a range of the drones. This is how you do it, guys. And this one, I, I almost let it die. That is definitely not how you do it, but here we go. I, I want the queen so I can Yamato it. There you go. Thank you. All right. And then we go back to repair. Now, these widow mines are going to come in here. Right? The damage is just being insane right now. Here we go. Oh, I barely can pass. The Wait, he's not paying attention. Oh, he did pay attention. Maybe we can move one of these. I don't think he's going to expect this. I I tried to make that into a planet there, but I feel... I targeted the drone. Oh, that is brutal. 11 kills on that widow mine. Just because I paid a little bit of attention. That is just awesome. Now, I mean, he has... A Wait, that is bailings, right? Yeah, that looks like bailings to me. Maybe I can force him to detonate early. Let's see. I'm going to wall it off so he has to detonate a little early and he doesn't have enough to kill it. I, I don't think that is enough. It's close, but I don't think it is. Here we go. He Wait, that was not a planetary? Or did he did it die to... No, I'm confused. I thought I had a planetary over there. Did I not make that a planetary or did he just kill it with bailings? Okay, he's... No, I'm not going to let you do that. He's Guys, I am the one YouTubing people, okay? I'm not going to allow him to kill my battle cruiser with the splash of my own widow mine. That's just not in the cards. That would be... 
brutally embarrassing if I allowed it to happen to myself on the tube. So, uh, I mean, realistically, it's probably happened before and I forgot about it. But I'm not going to let it happen again. At least not yet. Now I'm terrified because it might, you know. Let's see. Where's the Spire? Spire is the... Oh, no. He's going for the Hydra then. That is um, really good news for us. So I shouldn't make a sour face, but I, I, I always, it always hurts a little bit. It's a really bad choice against Battlecruisers, but so many Zergs are just tempted into making them. Uh, but they're, they're just not good against VCs at all. I mean, the best thing about the Hydra is that it's a very solid unit, and then you can make Lurkers from it. I, I don't think you want to make Lurkers against someone making Battlecruisers. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Maybe you guys know more about this topic than me, but I... I, I think I'm right here. I don't think you want to make lurkers against these. So Hydras, yeah, they're not good against battle cruisers, and you don't want lurkers. Then, then what is the point, right? There is not really a point here. Now let's see what he's making so far. Nothing. Okay, corruptors. Okay, that's good. No Hydras yet for him. Uh, I mean, I, I know I'm not supposed to be cheering for my opponent, but I do still love it when my opponents make good plays. You know, like it's it's just I don't know. It's just satisfying or something. If Starcam has played well, it's a very satisfying game. You know, it really is. Now let's get some turrets up here against the corrupt corruptors could own me early on so i need to be careful we got my one one for a little bit too which is unforged to say the least oh i should put some widow mice on the on the left side here see oh you're just gonna try i have to fly that away actually i mean i'm gonna kill four corruptors for it at least i think he might not get it without losing another one he's he's going for it but he's gonna lose let's see Maybe one more Corruptor for it? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I killed, I think, five in total for the command center. My economy is good enough. Uh, I don't think we complain about those. I think I think it's all right. Ideally, I would if I saved it, it would have been an enormous play. Uh, or, well, an enormous mistake by him, I guess. But it's... Yeah, I, I do wonder, by the way, can you call those things mistakes? Where it's like, if you don't kill something on one HP, you, you made a decent calculation, right? So, it, could you even call it a mistake? I don't know. I'm not sure if I would call that a mistake by him if he survived on 1 HP. Maybe it was like a little risky, but he, it was a calculated move. It wasn't like an obvious blunder or anything. Oh, I see. Okay, he's trying to get there. I mean, I, I can just move these Widow Mines over. And then he's not going to want to do this. He is going to do it. Okay, that's kind of crazy. I'm going to PC. These Widow Mines are going to pop off. Turrets are shooting as well. I got more Widow Mines on the way now. This is, this is a mistake, guys. There you go. Thanks for displaying it, Jimmy Micro. And, and thanks for not getting my planet here, I suppose. No upgrades yet. Can I kill that one? I want to kill the full HP one. I don't want to waste the Yamato on a 1 HP Corruptor. I do want to get some more over here. I mean, I should check what he's doing here. Okay, so there's Roaches. I'm very happy to see that. I mean, I just want to know if he's going to go for more of these late game units, right? Like, I want to know if there's Infestors or Vipers on the way. Uh, I don't really care about seeing some Roaches. He's, don't, that is actually sad. It's 12 minutes in the game. I have a ton of battle cruisers, and he doesn't have Roach speed. That, that looks very sad. Yeah, he's trying to bait them, and I'm going to burrow a couple of these in time. Let's get some Yamatos. He knows there's a couple still active. I have more Widow Mines, actually, so I can burrow these as well. Here we go. Let's try to get enormous hits. Only uh, only one Widow Mine is still left up. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to do as much damage as I can. Uh, I do think I have to dip now. There we go, because those Corruptors would kill me. I'm saving the Widow Mines, too. Yeah, that was... A I'm 200 supply after that. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was even better than I thought. I thought I would look and I'd be like 175, but I was at 200 supply. That is crazy. Uh, that is not where I want to put that. There we go. Change that over. I have 92 SCVs, which uh, normally I go more. I feel like for this game, it's enough though. Like this game is not as big as uh, the other one we just played. I feel like we're going to be pretty satisfied. I mean, 2-2 is on the way. I repaired my Battlecruisers, Corruptors, heal over time without needing the resources, but they don't do it that fast. So let's try that needs to be a factory so i can go for drilling claws over here i don't oh wait guys imagine imagine oh he's terrified he knows here we go i mean i can burrow those and kill the roaches too i, I don't mind what i kill her the, the roaches are also gonna suffer there we go a lot of those go down i think i killed a ton of the drones too and then we're just gonna walk away and make more battle cruisers instead now i feel like it's a good time for me to go for it because those corruptors are low hp i'm gonna try to push forward with some turrets here imagine if i get these turrets up even without um having a planetary he won't be able to fight it with the corruptors which is fantastic i'm gonna get my battle cruiser a lot faster yeah I, he, I don't think he has enough here to be honest i have better upgrades than him too yeah this is a lot of uh, battle cruiser guys he oh he did go for armor unlike the other guy he did go for armor let's pull those back oh they survived too that is absolutely brutal and now i have turrets in front of his base and he doesn't even have bailings right now to kill the widow mine he's gonna try oh that hurt i was gonna say he's gonna try to bait the widow mines but that wasn't really baiting them in his favor i want to say 
Now let's get this one. We're already really close to splitting them out, by the way, because this base is pretty easy to take once we have the one below here. He's making Ravagers. Okay, Ravagers definitely were tough for us to deal with in the last game, so that might be a problem once again. Try to move all of these over. These battle cruisers are repaired. The corruptors are there, but there, it's not that many anymore, guys. I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna target these ravagers. Let's see. Oh, those. I didn't see those biles. Okay, those hurt like hell. That I'm gonna go back to repair these. Hell no, I'm fighting with these battle cruisers now. That that was really good prediction on the ravagers. Normally, it's almost impossible to hit battle cruisers with biles, but he tried, and he uh, yeah, he pretty much pulled it off. Now, let's see. He's gonna try. He he, he should not. Okay, good for you, Jimmy. He would have lost every single Corruptor there, I think. He might still try it later on, so I'm going to make some uh, thingies there now. Yeah, he's doing... The Ravager's definitely key against us. You can tell it very clearly now. In the last game, they were tough. But here also, the Ravager's definitely making this very, very difficult here. Now, maybe it would be smart for me to just go mass BCs. You know what's the scariest thing about the Ravager, potentially? Excuse me? Is that you cannot Yamato. Because if you Yamato, guys... Uh, he can bile where you're standing, and biles is like... That might be, like, the most damaging thing in the game. Like, it just hits so freaking fast. Uh, so if I Yamato in range of those Ravagers, I will lose uh, my battle cruisers, and that's painful. He made, he's, he's actually trying to kill... Go in here. That is a, a very risky idea. Okay, I, I tried to Yamato the Ravagers. I think I got most of them. There we go. A lot of them died, and now... I have just a couple widow mines that I need with me uh, to go into this base. He's doing a really good job of killing my command centers. I don't even have that many scans anymore. Here we go. We are now in here. The corruptors are going to take the top side. Uh, I might have enough PCs. I have two, two. I think he has plus one. Let's see. Yeah, he's plus one armor, but we killed the base. That's already really good. Let's make sure I kill the drones too. And then we're going to go for drilling claws. I do have my eight star forts. Uh, but what I need at this point is just more command centers. I don't have enough command centers yet. Oh, I'll kill those. I mean, as long as he doesn't make infestors, I can just keep flying and killing stuff for free. Oh, he's not paying attention. Oh my god, that's going to be so many. I think he could have fought there. But now he lost all of them instantly. And now he's coming in with the Ravagers from behind. But I can just fly away. Uh, I do think I'm going to teleport back home in a second. Let's see if I can save that one. There we go. He should have killed that, to be fair. I teleported a little bit too late. But he, um, I think, yeah, he missed my quad a little bit. Oh, I made a raven on accident. Well, I guess I'm allowed to make a raven per my new challenges, but it died anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's target these perfectly. There we go. Oh, that one wasn't quite perfect. Should have targeted one drone further, but it's all right. Now let's make sure I repair those up. I can use one battle. Yeah, the ravages are so freaking annoying, you know? Just like, I can only kill them with the battle cruisers, but I can't really go in against the corruptors without having a teleport available. So they're always very annoying. I'm going to remake a sensor tower here. I'm going to yam out to one of them. They, they do cost 100 100 by the way so it's not uh it's not free for him to lose the there you go 200 200 lost and we killed his hatchery on the right side so that is actually kind of painful and let's get some more uh stuff up here i have okay so he's going for this base i mean i have turrets available he's gonna try to kill it i'm just gonna yamato his stuff i don't want to Ooh, that's gonna hurt a little bit i don't want to teleport on top the armor is helping me, but not enough. Please, come in the rain. Okay, we are going to kill a lot of these now. There we go. It took a little bit too long to leave, and in the end, it ended up being a decent trade there. And now I'm going to teleport on top of these Ravagers and hopefully kill all of them. There we go. How is the battle? Okay, the oh, the battle is perfectly on time, man. He is good with these. Not going to lie, he is doing a great job. Now, I'll just simply replace that base with one of my new ones. Almost every single Ravager died, but I do need to be careful for those Corruptors catching up. Get those back. Where's the command center? Oh, here we have one. Okay, let's try to take that back. Um, I do want to deny his base is on the left side. That is kind of worrying me a little bit at this point. He's going to have a lot of these. Uh, I have one battle cruiser finishing here, I think. Don't I? Or is it one of the other star force? I thought, oh, no, I don't. I thought I had one finishing right away, but uh, I guess not. The, okay, so he does have the investors now. This is where it's going to get more difficult. But I do have a gold base, which is nice. Though, realistically, he already has the one on the left side. Probably has both of these bases. Oh, this one not yet. Okay, that, that's kind of nice. I just assumed he had it already. So that's a, a pretty nice uh, surprise for me. So he's here with the Ravagers. Uh, but I'm going to fly over them very fast. Check this out, guys. This is going to be a fantastic trade here. Oh, my God. He's going to lose so many of these. The Corruptors are out of position. If he loses the Ravagers, he can't save himself from the Widow Mines, though. Here we go. Widow Mines are burning underneath. I think they're going to shoot in time because they have Drilling Claws. There we go. So many Yamato. So many Widow Mines going off. And that was absolutely brutal. You guys, please start mining this again. Here we go. 
and even considering going for an attack on the left side. And yeah, the, he lost the investors too, by the way. Don't forget that. That is a huge deal. I have plus three. He only has one armor. I mean, normally that'd be pretty decent. But now, uh, against 3-3, three, three, that is not going to be that great, guys. He doesn't have a single attack upgrade. I don't even need my Yamatos anymore because the upgrades are so good in my favor. Give me micro types, GG. And there we go. And once again, the efficiency... Even more brutal than the last game. 14k against 37k. 63 worker skill. Wasn't too heavy on the worker skill, but those two were just beautiful TVZs. And I love how the late game TVZ looks in this challenge. The games are always awesome. They're epic. Started with a lot of chaos this episode. Ended with two absolute macro bangers. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure to join that Discord if you're still here. You probably really enjoyed the video, so you should. Besides that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see y'all for the next one. Adios.